Okay, folks, in this video, we are going to record a payment plan on the system. So we'll create it, put in all the details, and look to link it to this event. Now, on a separate note from it, we will have a drop form completed. You guys will complete that and request the driver to sign it once you've had the conversation stating that you've noticed the damage that the payment plan is for an estimated amount it will then be the requirement of the driver to take the vehicle to a garage to get a complete quote which will then be sent over to pegasus so that we have written confirmation of what the actual quote will be so you've done the spot check you've done the damage you now want to create the payment plan and link it so in this case you're back in the vehicle event so you'll see here event includes damage you'll select yes in order to get the payment plan uh, available we select at fault now even if you were doing a insurance claim third part involvement anything like that we still get the payment plan drawn up so we'll always select that fault that then brings up this little red button at the bottom here to create a payment plan so once you select that create new driver payment plan based on this event as soon as you select yes the payment plan will be created here and it automatically links to this event so you see here in this box as well, before we go into payment plan, is event details PP. So this relates to event details relating for the payment plan. So in this case, all you want to do, just a quick description. It's for the intro in the payment plan, and we go into it. So you see it there. So you then want to start filling in the details for it. Now straight away, when you fill it in, unless you've got an actual written quote, or you know that it is an insurance claim, it's always going to be an estimate. So in this case, let's take for example, the estimate is going to be say 600 pounds to repair the damage. We then have to create the payments for the payment plan. So your first payment is defined by the date so it is always the following week after you create the payment plan so in this case you would be looking at today is the 6th of june you're looking at the 17th now we can't do it for this the 10th that is this coming week where all the payment plans are already set for pay run so we want to create it for the following week so we therefore select the following week where we know that first payment will be captured. The number of payments. So in this case, we're going to do three payments. So it's £200 per time. That will then calculate. So before you hit calculate, you've got payment interval. So you've got 7, 14, 28, which is days. Every payment plan, regardless of who it is, will be seven days. So it will be every week for three payments for three weeks. Once you're happy, calculate and it draws up the payments here. Now we see here that it's already set for 100, 100, 400. We can go in and edit it. So that is a case of just getting in touch with the fleet team, making them aware that you've created the payment plan, but the figures require to be changed. If any part of the payment plan requires to be edited at all, then just send an email to transport and we will get that sorted out. So you see the payment plans have all been done and you've got space here for driver signature. That's fine if you're using the laptop or we are using the drop forms. So you've created the drop form for the payment plan for £600, you have a conversation with the driver, he accepts it, he signs that drop form. You will then get a copy of that drop form in an email, and then all you want to do is, for the driver's signature, just put in X. 
because we know that we've already got. So where's this payment plan? What we've been doing is fucking up the copy which has been signed is in the paper clip which is up here. So all you need to do, go into the attachment and you can add the file. You just drag over the drop form with the signature into this box. That's it then uploaded. You can go in, you'll see it, you have a signed copy. So that we have a record of the driver being made aware of the payment plan, so he's aware of the deductions in his payments. So it just came out there by mistake. So I'm back in the payment plan. So still a couple of things just to finish up. So the repairer, if you know which garage is going to be carrying out the repairs, type that in. And then the last thing is the status. Now it's marked as unsigned, but you'll see that we've actually already got the signed copy in the attachment. So we now need to make this payment plan status as signed. So in order to do that, all we do is hit electronic signature. Now you'll see here is a copy of uh, agreement for electronic signatures. That writing is already in the payment plan that they sign, so that way we can have no qualms that they have not been made aware of this information. So they've already signed it, they have agreed to it, so we can then agree in this case. You'll see that status is now signed. A copy of this can then either be emailed by send email, review. We could then send it to the finance department. And it is also done when the payroll for payment plan deductions is done each week, it will show. You can also send a copy to the driver with their email address, just type in the email. They will then receive a copy of this payment plan here. Or they will get a copy of the signed one, whichever they prefer. So if they prefer a copy of this one, you just print off a copy and give them a copy for their records. That's the payment plan completed. So you're back in the event now. And then that you completed all part of the spot check, whether it was standard, recording the damage and creating a payment plan. And that's you finished up with the payment plan side.